Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of the new DJI FPV drone. Our pilot Josh, who's had stick time on it today, is going to give his quick and honest feedback about this drone. So, uh, yeah, the goggles are really good. They're really, really comfortable to, to have on your head. Um, it, they're much more improved from the version one. So with the latencies, there's literally none. Um, the transmission is really good. You know, even when we're um, further away, we're not losing any transmission or it becoming blurry or blocky. Uh, there's no dropout. Um, so the goggles are much improved. It's a really clear image. Uh, the remote's really comfortable to have in your hands. The, the layout's awesome. Um, it's more of a natural um, like games controller feel as opposed to the classic DJI controller which is sort of more bulky. Um, and then the drone itself, really responsive, really quick. Um, it's good that you've got the three different modes so you can um, flick it between sort of the classic drone modes and then put it into full manual um, and then flying it in acro was, was a really good experience. Um, so yeah, really impressed with it. So in terms of first impressions, really good. There's nothing at the moment that I'm picking out to say that's not, not working. Um, overall, really happy with it. Yeah, design, obviously the design's different. Um, normally with FPV, we're, we're used to the, the FPV camera for the, for the pilot being sort of inside the body of the drone, being quite low down, so you're, you're sat higher up. Um, the fact that then the, the camera's got a gimbal on it means that you can uh, change your speeds quite a lot whilst you're flying, so you can move in those nice dynamic slow cinematic shots and um, so obviously we've not really seen that on an FPV drone before um, especially sort of the bind and flies um, so that but the camera is really good but also having that gimbal position means that it's a lot easier to land because you can judge where you're landing a lot better so it's a safer system uh, and then the GPS uh, is a lot more accurate obviously the return to home is fantastic and the pause button is, is a really good feature to have also in case you sort of been a bit too overconfident and need to bail out. So yeah, so as, as, you, as you're doing rolls, etc., you're not getting a, the drone's not overly heavy, so we're not having a, i.e. you're having to put lots of power on, um, lots of throttle to, to do, you, to pitch up, etc. When we're coming back down, when it's in that air mode, we're not, we're not having massive variances, so we can do quite some, um, ambitious manoeuvres and the amount of the amount of height you're losing you're not losing too much okay so I, i've i've obviously used the v1 transmission system so the original dji fpv and what what you had there was um the focus mode activated quite quickly so you begin to lose the detail in the edges and then you get um blockiness and because it's digital we the signal jumps so you will you'll see something and then there'll be a pause in the frame, but obviously at that time the drone's still moving and then it jumps back to where it is. When we've been flying here and we'd be quite, it'd be quite challenging to fly in this location with the uh, version one, we've not had any of those issues. Um, we've, at no point have I had a loss of connection, have I had um, the sort of low latency or the, the level of the latency um, has always been really low. We've not had the focus mode activate. So yeah, the, the V2 goggles are much improved from the V1. I, I really like the fact that you can switch from obviously full manual mode to then the sport and the, the standard modes because it, it allows you to, if you're, if you're on, a, on a location, you can almost go and do that scouting out with the drone and then flick it back into manual mode, go and do the flying. So having those three modes available and then work properly, because GPS, for example, with FPV drones has always been about GPS rescue and it's never been that great. Um, but the sort of the GPS modes on this, it works just as a normal DJI drone would. Um, so it's that two for one package. I mean, it performs both really, really well. So that's my, that's my personal favorite part. I think the main beneficial points is that it's a, it's essentially that um, commercial off-the-shelf system. It's a, it's off the shelf, so there's no building. It's a you're not having to get all the different parts and putting it together. So you've got all the transmission system. It's all in one, so you're ready to go. Um, for me, the main points that I really like is the fact that you can flick, flick between those three modes so quickly, um, and you can use it for. It's not just one package. Then it, it's it's more than just one drone, if that makes sense. Whereas before. If we want to do FPV work, we'd have to do an FPV drone and to then record or fly something else that we want a different type of footage, we'd have to change the aircraft potentially. We're not going to have to do that anymore. Um, the quality of the camera is excellent um, and especially to have that as your um, 
as your main camera means that you can you know, the work you're doing is it's a lot more smooth so you're shooting with the camera you're then going to use the footage for as opposed to as normal we've got the fpv system which is just for seeing and then you've got a gopro or sim or something on top which is then the the footage that you're going to record so you don't know if it's correct until you landed whereas we can be pretty happy when we're flying if we've seen what we want we know we've got the shot already yeah so the in terms of for a beginner um, the package that DJI are delivering is really good. So you've got the um, simulator that's part of the goggles and the simulator having used it and having then used the drone, the drone flies quite accurately compared to the, um, the profile of the flight for the, in, the, in the simulator. So once you're confident that you can fly with that simulator, you're going to be able to fly relatively well outside. So for people who are wanting to get into FPV, this is a really good drone. But it's also got the safety systems around it so we can pause the flight if we're if we're in a situation where we think we've lost control of the drone so to speak we can press the pause reset yourself and then carry on um, so you know it's more for me there's two there's two target markets really it's the people who want to learn fpv but it's also the opportunities for um, the commercial operators who want to get into fpv who want a off-the-shelf system that they don't have to build themselves um, to go flying um, and then have the safety systems around GPS, etc., which we can then use in commercial work. So it's two target audiences. I think it's really good. Well, I hope Josh has given you some good insight in the brand new DJI FPV drone. It is now in stock at heliguy.com, so pick yours up there. If you have got anything out of this video, please do like and subscribe as it does help the channel grow. And if you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comments. We'll see you in the next video.